Welcome guys to Kionics, my name is Gaurav and today in this video we gonna explore this NVIDIA Jetson Xavier. So let's get started. Welcome back guys to another awesome tech video. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about this Xavier NX single board computer. So if you are looking for a single board computer for your autonomous application or any graphical heavy intensive application, but in the same form factor of Jetson or the Raspberry Pi. So here we have this Xavier NX single board computer. So it's the same form factor as the Jetson Nano and even the Raspberry Pi but has a lot of power as it has a lot of GPU cores. So this is the thing for you. So I'm using this single board computer from last two years for my major AIML or autonomous project. So this is going to be a long term review. Although we also got the Jetson Orion series in the market, but still the Xavier NX has a much to offer and also the prices are reduced as the Orion series come into the market. So this board is having a lot of potential so you can go with. So let me just show you some unboxing that I already did and let's talk about more about the single board computer. So let's get started. So here we have the Jetson Xavier NX development kit. So this is one of the best and I would say the powerful single board computer out there specifically for the edge application or you can say autonomous or any AI tasks. So here are some specs about this board as this one is having a 8 GB uh, compared to the Nano only have a 4 GB of the RAM but this one got you with the 8 GB of RAM you can also go with the 16 GB variant as well in the Xavier series and this one having a 2 extra acceleration cores as well also having a 6 core CPU with the 48 tensor core which is a gam good thing compared to the Nano and we also got some other ports we're gonna check it out soon so yeah that's all about the box so let's just unbox So here we go. So in the box, we got the power supply and the Jetson. Let's check the power supply. So it's a 19 volts and 2.3 ampere power supply. It's a 45 watts of power supply we're going to use. Although you can also go with the simple 5 volts power supply as well. But this is the recommended. And we also got two plugs. So this one is Asian plug. And yeah, And then another we have the European plug as well, which is a good thing. And here we have our Jetson. So let's just unwrap it. So here we go with the Xavier NX development kit. And we have to agree when it's come to the hardware part, Nvidia never disappoint. It feels really solid in the hand. So now let's just talk about some features of it. First, let's start with the IO ports. First, we got a DC jack for power and then we have a display port along with the HDMI 1 and then we have four USB 3.1 port which is again a great thing along with a gigabit Ethernet port as well and we also got a micro USB for powering up as well so you can power with 5 volts and on the top we have our main Xavier NX module with the inbuilt fan and the heatsink which is a great thing. And on the side, this time we got two CSI ports for camera. Although in Nano, we only got one, but here we have two, which means we can use this for stereo camera configuration, which is again a great thing for camera surveillance or any kind of camera AI application. So great thing, NVIDIA, thumbs up for that. Now let's just talk about the GPIO ports. So here we go, we have our standard 40 pin GPIO pins which is same as the Raspberry Pi. So you can use the Raspberry Pi stuff with it as well. And on the bottom, we here we got our Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth card, which is from Intel. And then we have our M.2 slot for SSD. On the top, we have antennas for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, so that's all about the hardware thing. So yeah, that's all about the hardware part. So it's a really good. One thing to be note that this module doesn't come with onboard storage, which means you need to insert a SD card to boot this up same as Raspberry Pi or Jetson Nano 
but some of the variants are come with the onboard storage as well so you can check that out although you can also get us only the xavier module and you can use with your own uh, carrier board as well so that's up on you which is a great thing as nvidia always support so here i burn the os to the sd card and we boot the jetson and here we go so it's running the ubuntu os just a jetson skin on it that's why it's look different else it's a ubuntu os which means you get all the supports of all the libraries like the tensorflow or pytorch all the AI framework support that jet that's why it's great and so yeah nothing too much about the software side so hope you guys like this video if you have any question related to this do let me know in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to kionx because next we are coming up with the jetson ryan series so stay tuned for that as we're gonna cover up the unboxing and all the specs and even we're gonna make some cool autonomous project with the jetson ryan series so stay connected and do follow and do subscribe to kionx and i will see you in the next one